what we're trying to do in the spirit of cloud computing is to create the same simple relationship between an innovative application that you want to meet your business or mission needs and the ability to literally plug it into an infrastructure that can power it the way it needs to so that it can scale and provide a, val a value throughout the organization. What cloud computing in a sense would allow us to do is to increase the productivity by which we use information technology. Let me make it simpler. If I wanted an idea uh, for a new technology application in an agency, it would take six months for them to design the procurement requirements. It would take another six months to probably run the procurement. It might take a year or two to build the infrastructure and then a year after that to get the, that's why you have the five year billion dollar projects. But with cloud computing, you could literally start to iterate beta versions, version 0.01, 0.02. You could start to roll some immediate functionality out and then scale it over time. I think with a widely mature and widely adopted uh, cloud infrastructure, you're going to see the velocity of applications, small and large, accelerate dramatically. If we think about the healthcare story as an, a way to answer your question, it gives us a perspective on cloud. In uh, the federal government has approved over $20 billion in incentive payments to physicians who are capable of achieving uh, the meaningful use of health information technology. The uh, Congress was very thoughtful in suggesting that to get to uh, what qualifies for that uh, incentive payment, there needs to be a set of standards that are adopted through this public-private collaborative and that anybody who wishes to accept those payments those incentive payments, has to have a technology that has adopted those standards. So in a sense, this is a bit of a, uh, the current model. And that is uh, companies like Intel, Microsoft, and others have been collaborating in the design of the standards that we have just proposed by regulation in December in healthcare information technology, that if approved as regulation will be uh, I think adopted by the private sector if they wish to participate in this incentive program. Now there's no mandate that you have to participate, but we've created a lot of conditions that would make that a very uh, enticing role. So we've essentially introduced open data standards into healthcare information technology, uh, not by law or some other means, but by this sort of carrot approach uh, that we've adopted. And I think it may be a model that we're gonna play across a number of domains.